Hello and welcome to part 43 of my Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. It has been a while, guys. Uh, I really don't remember where we're up to. Let us have a look at what the game says. Okay, apparently, apparently, it's time to head towards the Elite Four and the Pokemon League. Um... I don't know if there's anything like to take care of just before we do set off, so let's let's have a look. Welcome home, you're trying very hard, I see. Kept your room tidy. Not about money. Um no. Just do what you can. Okay, cool. So nothing special to do at home. What about in Elm's lab? Awesome music. Ha wait. Ha ha there's a Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Master Ball! Have some of that. I'm glad I, I'm glad I popped in. Master Ball is best. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to recognised Pokemon researchers. I think you can make better use of it than I can, Ibiza. Cheers. Cheers! I remembered his voice. That's probably the only one in the episode I remember. And it's probably not actually right. <laughs> but, oh well. Right, let's get our surf on, on Lorenzo. Let's let's have our team recap. I didn't do that. It's been so long, I need one. Never mind you guys. Okay, so we have Darren the Typhlosion, who's level 37. Holding a charcoal to power up Flame Wheel and Ember. Uh, also got Quick Attack and Smoke Screen. Up next, we've got Lorenzo the Gyarados, level 35, the red Gyarados, the shiny one. Holding the Mystic Water to power up Surf, also has Thrash, Twister, and Dragon Rage. Up next, Geochick, the level 38 female golem. Holding an Ice Heal for no real reason. <laughs> She's got Strength, Defense Curl, Rock Throw, and Magnitude. Got third, the Hypno, who's level 32 with Headbutt, Hypnosis, Flash, and Confusion. Joel the Nido King is level 30, holding the amulet coin to earn us some extra dollar dollar. Uh, he's got Lay, Thrash, Horn Attack, and Double Kick. And we've got Ruby the Pidgey, I assume, on the team just because we want to fly places. Um, yeah, who's our normal sick team member? I feel bad for forgetting, but oh well. Hey, do you know what you just did? You've just taken your first step into Kanto. Check your poker game map and see. No, it's alright. <laughs> okay, so we have to go into the into the cave. Right. Tojo Falls, the link between Kanto and Johto. I thought we were already in Kanto. Oh. I don't I I don't think anyone has waterfall. Wow, it's a huge waterfall. Oh, hang on. Not just an item. I was going to say, is this a sneaky way around? We've got a moonstone. No, obviously you need waterfall to get around. Um... Oh, come on. Can I... Can I use waterfall in any way, I wonder? Like... Can I switch my team around in New Bark Town? I don't think I can. I think I'm going to have to go to anywhere else. Look at that super effective 10 damage. Rip Christopher. I remember Christopher. With an A because Christopher doesn't fit. I remember. Right. So wait, can I not fly into Johto then? Because I'm... Oh, I can. Okay. Right, let's go to Cherry Grove then. And see if we've got anyone in the computer with a uh, waterfall. So I have waterfall. I, I hope I have waterfall. <laughs> By this point. Right, so thank you, Ruby. Okay, who is our sixth team member, first of all? See if anyone rings any bells as being an actual regular member of the team. Did we decide to go with Explorer? I think we might have gone with Explorer in the end, you know. Technical has Whirlpool. 
Uh, fish. What's fish got? Fish doesn't have any HMs at the moment. Uh, Cookie could have it. Actually, I'm not sure if we can learn waterfall, but we'll have a look at our water types just to double check. Polyswag. I don't th think it's you. No. Uh, we've got Sausage. Who does not have Waterfall? Oh! Ah! There's Coffee, the Lapras. No! So we're gonna, gonna have to uh, pick someone to help us out. I think Fish can learn it and I'm highly unlikely, no matter how drastic the uh, the team how desperate the team situation gets to use a goldine so we'll we'll hopefully teach it to goldine that'll be the best solution waterfall teach waterfall to a Pokemon yes go fish oh what did I delete ah uh, peck oh well you know what it doesn't really matter does it because we're not going to be using Goldeen for actual battles ever, I don't think. Uh, get on the bicycle. <laughs> was well out of time then. So you guys might think I can't sync up my audio, but I was out of time anyway, so you'll never know. Right. Anyway, take two. Let's get back on... I'll back into Tojo Falls and actually see if we can get through it now. Now that we've got all Walter Fall. Oh yeah, it doesn't just automatically do it, does it? Whee! Look at that amazing animation. I didn't see who our sick team member is. I'm, thi I'm thinking maybe it was Explorer. I'll know when I edit this because I'll be able to see the layout, but I can't currently see the layout, so I guess uh, we just wait and see. Juicy scores. Level 38. Very nice. I definitely don't want to go much above level 40, I don't think, because I know the Elite Four is really low on this game. Can't remember exactly what levels, but I know the low. Oh, is that it? Wow, that was a that was a challenge, wasn't it? Um, she's about to challenge us to a fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Not if I step out the way first. I just like them apples. Where are you off to with your Pokemon Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trust you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. I think it is Explorer because weren't we going to go with Umbreon? Sandstorm. It's well relevant to uh, <laughs> to how friendly my Pokemon are. Right. Um, we'll uh, we'll lead with Joel as he's currently lowest level. Hi. It's Red Sea. Anyone come here? Are you training on your own? No, I'm here with all my friends. Like, can you not see her? Cool trainer Megan. Should have gone to Specsavers and she could see that was on my own. Oh, look at that. Typhlosion would have been perfect. Oh, we can still switch back in, can't we? Um, yeah. Go, Darren. That's all. Let's go. Bro. <laughs> Doesn't even hit. Pitiful move and doesn't even hit it. This could be a Venusaur, you know, love. Like, why is it a little Bulbasaur? You've been watching too much anime. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Wow, that gave me nothing. Oh, she got three Pokemon. So it's either going to be the three starters or my money's on Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. Oh, Venusaur next. Okay. So maybe it's not. Or maybe she just send them out, out of order. Either way, we're just going to flame wheel our way through this team. No faffing. No faffing switch training. We'll do some switch training, but only when it seems like the sensible thing to do. 
Against the Venusaur, maybe not so much. Oh, that, yeah, that is the end Pokemon, and it is an Ivysaur. Called it! Get that cute, ugly, spotty teenage Bulbasaur-looking thing. Not a fan of Ivysaur, I don't know if you can tell. There you go. Be gone. Okay, so overall, that actually gave us quite a bit of experience, that battle. The Bulbasaur gave us, like, practically nothing, though. Which surprised me, because it's a starter. I'm checking out pre- and post-evolution Pokemon. Evolution really does make Pokemon stronger, you don't say. But Evolve Forms also learn moves later on. Yep. I know all of these. All of these. All of these things I know. Oh, wonderful, because I couldn't control myself properly. I've ended up in a battle. Oh well. Will a horn attack do it? It's only level 15. Yep. There we go. Let's not waste thrashes. Well done, Joel. Good lad. Alright, what are you saying? You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. His hair's a different colour than it was a second ago. Cool trainer Blake wants to battle. His Magneton. Hmm. I might fight this. I don't know what he's going to be able to do that's good against me, but I've got Double Kick that's super effective. Still not the greatest move, but it's super effective. It's going to take three to kill it, though. Ooh, okay, as long as the Supersonic doesn't work, we're good. Come on, get the crit. No. No. Swift, that's not going to do much, I won't imagine. No. Goodbye, Magneton. Nicely done. Oh, that was a lot of experience. Nice one, Joel. Quagsire. Uh, what have I got for Quagsire? You need a grass type, really. I don't have one of them. Um, it's not going to be able to do anything to Lorenzo. Go, Lorenzo. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything back, though, either. That's the fun. Oh, no, I've got Dragon Rage, haven't I? Yeah, and I've got Twister. Let's see how much Twister does. Let's see how much we can do with Twister. And then, if it's not that much, we'll try Dragon Rage and see if that's more. That is pitiful. <laughs> and Dragon's a special type, so... Yeah, that's that's definitely a no-go now. I only just noticed we have two Thrashers. It's rare that I have it on my team at all, and I have two Pokemon with it. so close. I think I won't waste another uh, I think a twist will still put it away even with the special defense increase. And I don't want to waste another Dragon Rage. They're valuable since there's only 10 of them. Execute. Okay, so obvious answer is Darren. Yeah. Well, it probably won't be able to do much to third either. So it could do it. No, you know what? Let's just let's get through. I'm probably gonna have to do some grinding before the elite four. So let's just get there to begin with. And that's definitely top priority. Just get there, and then I can use any area I want to train. Seems like a good plan. Boom! Sit down. Yow! If you prevail on this harsh trek, the truth will be revealed. Heh, <laughs> sorry. I just wanted to say something cool. <laughs> Hi! Hmm, you're good, aren't you? I love how it's like, ha we tricked you. We made you walk on this particular path. It's like, I want to fight everyone. This hair changed colour as well. Brian. Cool trainer. Brian! Sand Slash. Got an advantage on Nidoking King there. Let's uh, go ahead and switch a Rooney. Hopefully it goes for the super effective ground type move. That'd be nice. That's a Sand Attack. Misses. Good. Surf. Probably not a one shot because Sand Slash pretty tough. And it's only 
super effective, not like doubly super effective. Although, okay, I take it back. Nice one, Lorenzo. Good grief. Sit down, Brian. Just as I thought. A good trainer can recognize other good trainers. Yeah, well, let me know when you see one. Because you ain't. Next. Oh, look, they tricked me again. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Mmm. I got it. You're on the Pokemon League Challenge. That is just what I was thinking. I was just walking along this bridge thinking, I'm on the Pokemon League Challenge. Stupid Psychic. Psychic Gilbert. Go on then, Psychic Gilbert. Oh, wow. Starmie is pretty much Nidoking's King's worst nightmare. Um... Let's go Lorenzo. It's Lorenzo or third. Oh, if we had our Umbreon already, what a wall that would be. I picked right. At least for the switching. Let's use a Twister. Can Twister paralyze? Or flinch or something? I feel like it's got a secondary effect. I'm not sure what it is. It's not done either in the couple of times I've used it. Go on, what have you got? What have you got, Twister? Nothing. Okay. I feel like Dragon Rage would be doing more at this stage, so let's uh, let's crack on with that. Yeah, way more. I think a, oh, I think a Twister will be enough. I was about to say before it used the cover. No git. Use his tackle, and now a twi twister will be enough. I'm fairly confident. There we go. Joel agreed to level 31. Oh, and Lorenzo nearly reached 36 as well. Giraffe a rig. Giraffe a rig. Um. I think third will be a good counter to this thing. Headbutt it. Wow, it's level 34. Pretty tanky. Baton pass. Pretty pointless. Execute. Headbutt. <laughs> He's deflect. Uh oh. Okay, go to sleep. I'm gonna try and kill the turns of reflect just so I don't waste all my headbutts because it's quite a low PP move. So I'm gonna try and burn some turns of reflect, also so that the giraffe doesn't come out with additional. Defense, because it's already level 34. Confusion hits. Okay. Wow. There we go. Right, headbutt it. Headbutt these eggs. Oh, wow, we got the crit. Nice. Misses the confusion. Gets headbutted again. Very nice. Okay, level 34 giraffe rig to go. I reckon we can still do this with third, though. I'm not scared by this thing. Oh, hypnosis misses, though. Can't bat and pass when you're the last one. Two in a row. Okay, here we go. Is it all it knows, bat and pass? Really shouldn't be threatened. <laughs> all right. What's it going to be like? Three more headbutts? Yeah, two more now. Two more now. If it doesn't wake up next turn, it's not going to get a hit on me no matter what. No, it did wake up. And it used stomp, so it did get a hit on me. Wow. Quite a significant hit. Nothing like too drastic, but still, a fair chunk of change. 
Level 33, though. Very nice. Time to learn Poison Gas. No. No. Normal poison. Like, normal poisoning. Not even, like, toxic poison. You're too much, and it's not even 100% accurate, and yeah, no. With your skills, you'd do well at the league. That's what my premonition says. Aha! She's still gonna see me, yep. You shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in these parts. Thanks for the top tip. Cool trainer... Rena. Oh, again. I think I should probably go back and heal soon. <laughs> kind of getting a bit worn down here. Especially in terms of Starmy counters. Don't have a lot of them. Bubble Beam. So Lorenzo would have been the right move again, however. Woo! Yeah, he was a bit low on health, so I didn't want to like risk that. Oh really? Um Is this a game where I have healing items or not? No. Okay, problems. Problems, guys. Lorenzo tanks the hit. But how many can he tank? Should do like 10. Oh my, oh yeah, right, okay, of course it was. Right, we can definitely live even another crit. Even another crit we can live. We can no longer live a crit and I'm not willing to risk Lorenzo for that, to be honest. So what do I do? I reckon Darren's the answer. Even though it's super effective, I feel like he can take a couple. It's only Bubble Beam. It's only Bubble Beam. We're going back after this battle, though, guys. We're going back. Absolutely going back. Whew! Um, I hope this is enough to kill. He says, recklessly mashing A. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Well done, Joel. Well done, Lorenzo. Well done, Lorenzo. Well done, third. Well done, Darren. Real team effort there, guys. Uh, oh, dear. she got two more. Oh, no. Um... I don't know what I'll do here. The most damaging move I've got is probably Lorenzo's Thrash. Although Geochick might have something more powerful, but the problem is, if it doesn't kill, it's definitely a one-shot, I would say. Stab quad effective. Alright, come on Lorenzo. Counting on you here. Come on, Lorenzo. You got this. Five levels higher. Five levels higher. That's faster. Don't get a crit. Eleven. I was close when I said ten, wasn't I, before? Come on. Come on, kill it. Oh, no. I don't know what else I could have done. That is not ideal at this point in the game. It's not ideal. I don't know if it's in quick attack range from Darren either. And if it's not, it kills Darren, and I can't afford to lose Darren as well.
I don't think it will one-shot Joel. That might be a quick attack range. I probably should have gone to Darren. Shouldn't one-shot Joel from here. It's only normal super effective. Oh dear, I bet she's got a third star me as well. Just to spite me. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Oh, thank you! Oh, I needed that not to be a star me. So badly, I needed that. It whips its tail back and I'm not even doing it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Magnitude 9. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what else I could have done there. I was going to lose someone. And I thought Lorenzo had the best chance of me not losing him. That was my reasoning there. Oh, you're much too strong. Yeah, sure, okay. Right, so now we have to head back. We need to heal, we should have healed. We should have gone back and healed. That's what I should have done different. Ugh. Quagsire, whole lot of no fighting that thing at the moment. Get out of there, in fact. I know he's low on health, but put Darren out front for the best chance of running away. Ugh! Welcome back to the Nuzlocke, Kibeza. At least we don't have to go back through the tunnel. Oh, really? <laughs> that's just that's just to annoy you. That is all that is for. I'm not even fighting this. I'm not even fighting it. Oh, come on! Right, there we go. Ding, 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 diddle, ding, 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 ding. So, at least we're guaranteed to get back in heal now. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to run away from all the level 2 Pokemon on this route. <sighs> Although, I'd rather they just didn't bother attacking me, to be honest. Like, that'd be much better. I was going to say then, that said, there is the potential to run into one of the uh, Roman legendaries. However, I do have a Master Ball now, so... If I run into one of them, then there's no risk of it knocking me out because I'm just going to Master Ball it. And then we'll worry later about whether that's a legal capture or not. Because, to be honest, it's kind of like having a static Mon, except it's a, a sort of roaming Pokemon and static Pokemon should kind of come under the same category, I think. They don't count against the route that you see them on. So I think I should be able to catch it. I'm not doing it in today's episode. No way. Uh, leave a like in honour of Lorenzo, our fallen comrade. Oh, go away, Brent. Hello, this is Brent. Yeah, you rang me, not the other way around. Uh, uh oh, you're not Kaz. Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> uh, yeah, leave a like. Uh, any sort of team suggestion, team changes going forward, leave them in the comment section. Gonna have to do some grinding up uh, to get my team up to a decent level to progress now. 
It's one of our better team members gone, so that's that's frustrating. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.